but at the same time, I got my 22 LR conversion kit from CMG. I ordered this. What is it? It's a upper for a mil spec lower AR-15. It does 410 shotgun shells. This one is from IFC. Charles Daly has them also, but I picked this one because it came with improved magazines and a choke system that you can change. You also got three of these magazines. There's the 410s. Something to remember, though. These shells don't all fit. There's some that fit, some that don't. I have some that does some good stuff, but I can't use them in here because they won't fit. But I could load one and let the top one go off, but they won't sink in like I'm doing now. See, I got this round right here. I went in. Okay. And I can push it down. And I know it's going to fit because, you know, it's got the curve in the magazine. But a lot of them don't do that. And uh, the Sterling slugs, they happen to work. There's a couple of others that work. Most of the birdshot works. But it's hard to shoot whatever I want to shoot wherever because one place says no birdshot. One place says no buckshot. So I'm, now I'm prepared. I got it all. It's just for fun. Uh... Shooting videos are going to follow. I only had 10 rounds to spare but when I did those, but it worked pretty good, regardless. Okay, let's carry on. Next video. Go ahead. Now that last one... It's not going to eject. Look. That's the rubber. This ends my IFC 410 AR upper video. It seemed to work right with the 10 rounds that I had. The last round was a rubber buckshot that wouldn't eject. I used it for a sixth round. This upper seemed to work pretty good. But I suggest when you buy ammo, bring the magazine with you so you make sure they fit right. Last, I had some extra video, but on the video it might... Not have looked so safe to most, so I left it out. Take care.